Hey, what the heck is that? This is how to make a bristle bot. A simple vibrating robot that goes somewhere out of a toothbrush. So the first thing we need is, of course, the toothbrush. And you can see this. This is the head of a toothbrush. And I've just taken a regular toothbrush and used the clippers to cut off the main handle. And what's left is just the head here with the bristles. This one has some funny rubber things on the side, but the most important thing to notice is that the bristles are all angled sideways. So what you want to do is find a new toothbrush like this that has the angled bristles. The funny thing about that is when you press down on it, it's going to try and march a little bit that way. And we're going to exploit that property to make a cool little robot. What else do we need? We need um, some foam tape. We need a pager motor. We need a watch battery. To the pager motor on the back on this one, I've soldered a couple of wires. And if we just hook it up across one of these watch batteries, it'll start to go. The pager motor is a small DC motor with an offset weight on the drive shaft. When the motor spins, this offset weight causes the motor to vibrate like crazy. This is what's used to give the buzzing signal inside a cell phone or a pager. Add a couple of wires to the end. You can touch those wires that hook up to the motor terminals right across the terminals of a watch battery and make the motor spin and vibrate. So that's all we really need to get a little motor going. Next we're going to add a piece of foam tape to the top of the toothbrush head. Okay, we mount the motor on top of the toothbrush so that even when the motor spins this weight doesn't touch the foam tape and get stuck there. Got it? Next, we're going to want to add the battery. The battery is going to go between the, those two wire terminals. Now, if you notice, I've got one wire bent down, touching the foam, and the other's up above, and it's going to clamp down onto the top of the battery when it's in there. Let's see if it works. So, I've got the battery in there, and so the motor's going. Look, I've got the battery stuck down to the foam tape. Okay, so you've got the battery hooked up, the motor's going, and then more or less just. <laughs> So as you can see, this thing really goes because of the directionality imparted by the bristles of the toothbrush. So that's it. An easy five-minute toothbrush robot, the Bristlebot from Evil Mad Scientist Laboratories.